Now, let's clear up a little bit of confusion with what I call product-specific shells. When you install, let's say, the Exchange Server Management Tools on your workstation, your Start menu is going to contain a shortcut for the Exchange Management shell. Uh, I'm here on a domain controller, and so it has something similar, this Active Directory module for PowerShell. This is not a special version of PowerShell. If you right-click this and look at Properties, you can see that all it is doing is loading PowerShell.exe and giving it a dash command and telling it to import the module Active Directory. So this is the same PowerShell that you can launch on your own from the Start menu. It's just preloading this particular module in this shortcut. That's how all of the product-specific management shells work, with only one exception the SQL Server Management Shell that comes with SQL Server 2008 and 2008 R2, the shell that comes with those is a, a specially configured one that not only preloads the SQL Server snap-in, but prevents you from loading any other snap-ins. Uh, it's called a mini shell, and it's, it's kind of an approach to things that the SQL Server team tried out, and they're really the only ones, and, and they probably won't even do that going forward. So, generally speaking, if you want to have several snap-ins loaded into the shell at one time, all you have to do is open PowerShell and load those modules. You don't have to have a separate one open for Exchange and a separate one for System Center and a separate one for anybody else. Even SQL, which its product-specific shell on the Start menu only has their snap-in, you can still load that snap-in into a normal PowerShell so that you can use it in conjunction with other snap-ins and modules.